Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. So we had seen uh, demo number one and demo number two on uh, Friday and Saturday. We could complete them. And today is the final demo, last demo. And after this, uh, you will be able to get the payments link uh, by my team. So you need not call them. They will call you. So these are the numbers they'll call you. You need not be worried about it. And uh, you can make the payment and uh, they will call you. Ne you need not call them for the payments and everything. So don't worry if you don't get the payment link also. Uh, you please wait for, you know, call till afternoon. And uh, if you don't get, you can write a mail to goonline.bhaskar at the gmail.com. Or you can also communicate these numbers, but you don't call because there are many people. So if you call them, then definitely they will not be able to answer. Please wait them. Uh, please wait so that they will be able to call you back. Okay. So you will be able to get the phone pay links or, you know, co or Google pay links, or you will be able to get um, the uh, bank details, whatever you wanted to have it, they will be able to send you. So that's not a problem. So from tomorrow, this link is not going to work. So whatever be the meeting link that you are using, so that is not going to work from tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll uh, see how to install SQL Server software and Power BI software in your machines. So definitely, if you have time today, if you have time today, you have to have Windows 10 or 11 installed in your laptop. Okay. So, sir, I have Windows 8. What should I do? I told you already, right? You need not ask me that question. You go to the nearest hardware shop and ask them to install. You pay some 300 rupees or 400 rupees, they'll be able to you know, install Windows 10 and Windows 11. And tomorrow, I'll provide SQL Server 2019 software in the online itself. And people who make the payment, they will be able to get the softwares and everything. And Power BI software also will be provided. So tomorrow, we'll see how to install them. Okay. So how to install them. That is what we're going to be discussing in tomorrow's class. And it will take a complete class, right? Okay, complete, you know, one hour tomorrow we'll be working on. And uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11, minimum 2 GB of RAM, minimum, okay? You need to have it. And any processor can work, i3, i4, any processor can work. And... Uh, Minimum 100 GB of hard disk, okay? So many people are buying now one terabyte of hard disk or you can say minimum two, 256 GB SSD hard disks are coming nowadays, which are very, very fast. So instead of buying normal hard disk of tera, this, this much of capacity, uh, you better buy, you know, SDD hard disk. So it is more than sufficient for you. And you can buy one hard disk, even though one terabyte is not there. So that is also fine. Clear? So one terabyte is not at all needed. So if you have this much of a hard disk space, then definitely uh, it is enough. Clear? So if you wanted to increase the RAM, you can go in for uh, 4 GB will be preferred. Okay? So 4 GB will be preferred. If you have 2 GB, that is fine. But if you pay extra 1000 rupees, you will be able to get 4 GB of RAM. And this is the one thing I can strongly recommend. Instead of going for 1 terabyte of hard disk, even that is there, you can go in for SDD. This will be very, very faster. Okay. So this will be very, very faster. So this is what is called, you know, configuration of your laptop or desktop. So I'm using Lenovo laptop worth, you know, the 35,000 rupees. So more than sufficient. So i3 or i5 processors. I'll show you my configuration once again. So you can just see, you can buy this kind of a laptop if you wanted to buy it. I'm having, uh, uh, you know, i5 processor and I'm having 8 GB of RAM, but you can go in for 4 GB and a 64 bit operating system windows 11 pro i'm having clear so i bought it for uh, 36000 or 35000 rupees all together okay so that is what is my configuration this is the configuration my of my laptop 
and this is my computer name Kada. So you can give any computer name to your you know Windows, right? So but Windows seven is important, and I have uh, one terabyte of hard disk plus two fifty six GB of uh, SDD. So SDD is very very fast. So this is the hardware configuration, guys. So tomorrow I'll show you how to install SQL Server twenty nineteen and uh, how to install Power BI. So that is what is for tomorrow's class. This link, this meeting link will not work because three demos are free. And uh, 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 after that, you have to make the payment and get the, you know, tomorrow's link. So we are open morning 11 to evening, six o'clock. You have to make the payment before that and uh, send your details to my team. So my team is going to be calling you and they'll be sending you email communication and make sure that you have submitted your details in the form. So this is the form I've already told you and you need to fill this form, right? So let me give you this form in the chart window. So hope, you know, everybody is, you know, fill this form. If not, today is the last chance to fill this form when you fill it. So you will be able to get the discounted price. If you don't fill it up, then definitely discounted price will not be applicable to you. Right? So this is the form. Uh, you can just fill it up. If you already fill it up, just ignore it. And if not, you need to you know, uh, fill this form, guys. Clear? So I don't know which, but it is not uh, opening anything. Okay. So you need to fill this form, guys. And uh, if you have any other concerns, okay, if you have any other concerns, please, you know, take my mail ID, go online.bhaskar.gmail.com and uh, you can just say, raise a concern if you're not able to get something or if you're not getting daily videos, definitely you can write, raise your concerns to me. So I will escalate this matter to my partners, okay? So they will be able to respond to you guys, okay? Now... Today is the final demo of Power BI and we discussed already. Okay, so we discussed already that uh, Power BI is very, very easy and Power BI is a data analytical software. Data analytics means what? Understanding the past or business intelligence is reporting is fast. Okay, report is in so business intelligence will is is going to reporting the past okay so business intelligence will be used to reporting the past it is also called as a understanding past business analytics data analytics and all these are synonyms right so the next I spoken about data science, okay? Data science is created uh, with the two things. One is called, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> data mining. So earlier, so earlier there is a course called data mining and uh, computer science, okay? So data mining and computer science these two taken together and they have named data science. Clear? Data mining is a computer subject. So, and uh, this is a completely subject for the database. Clear? So, data mining was there and it started in 1960s, 70s, you know, 2000. We had, you know, year 2000, we had data mining in our curriculum. And the data mining and computer science put together people are calling today data science clear so you will be able to understand how to do the predictions on the existing data clear if you wanted to do the prediction or if you wanted to work with the data science or data analytics definitely you have to have the data so where is the data data can be in excel data can be in rdbms data can be in data warehousing or data can be in Hadoop system. So wherever the data might be there. So all these are data storage technologies. How do you store the data? So data storing technologies or storage. Data storage technologies. If you simply store, 
you will not be able to get right if you simply uh, store lot of vegetables in your refrigerator will you get the food no you need to process the vegetables to create a food right so data storage technologies or excel sheets rdbms softwares and we have data warehousing softwares and hadoop software where you are going to be storing the data but if you wanted to perform data analytics or data science you have to use these many technologies sql only to store the data data warehouse to store the data and python and machine learning artificial intelligence neural networks deep learning and natural language processing all these part of you know data science so these are you know <clears throat> going to be used on the existing data to perform data science applications right and data science is very very complex and if you want to get a job in it industry i strongly recommend to go into data analytics with the help of a power bi or ms bi any bi software is called as a data analytical software ardham avutundi analytics means visleshana data ani visleshinchadam telugu lo data ani ganana cheyadam visleshinchadam ani ardham vastundi data analytics means etla visleshistharu how do you analyze the data that is what is important now today we'll discuss one by one clear now uh, when you have the uh, ba tools like sap ba sas ba oba ms ba tableau ba power bi i spoken about yesterday what is ms ba ms ba is going to be having three tools today we'll talk about what is ssis what is ssas what is ssrs and what is power bi we'll also discuss about today what is a data warehousing and one more concept that is we going to discuss today oltp versus olap clear and all these things we going to discuss now the question is that a company called amazon company wanted to analyze their data they wanted to know how the business is growing whether it is going good going bad so they wanted to know so amazon company wanted to know that or state by state bank of india wanted to know so how the company is doing or walmart wanted to know or netflix.com wanted to know how the business is growing in india or how the business is growing in you know, a across the world so companies like amazon state bank of india walmart netflix or you can say city bank any bank you take it right or any business you take it they want to do analyze but the question is that these are not small companies now the first question you need to ask where is your data okay so you ask where is your data that means you're talking about a location right so they say okay amazon is going to tell you or sbi is going to tell you let me remove let us talk about one company so amazon is going to tell you i have the you know business all over the india i have some of data in india some of data in us some of the data in uk some of the data in dubai so that is the answer so the company is saying i don't have the data in the centralized place i have the data in the decentralized manner ardham avutunde data anta kuda oke daggara ledu data vividha deshallo undi there are many places where the data is decentralized enduku ante this company is not a smaller company they have the data all over the world clear so the india sales is residing maybe in india uh, us sales data will be there in the us server and uk data england london and all the data may be available in uk server middle east data may be available in dubai server like that they have a lot of you know servers all over the world and the amazon company's data is located ardham avutunda the first problem is decentralization of data what is the data challenge so every company will have a data challenge so lot of challenges in the data itself because the first problem so if you wanted to analyze the data it is not available in a single place the first problem the company will have is data is not available in a single place clear so that is the first problem amazon is facing the next challenge i'm talking about 
and in which environment the data is available so i'm talking about what which you know environment i'm talking about environment means some of the data is in windows some of the data in java some of the data is in linux some of the data in sap some of the data in dot net some of the data in excel sheet some of the data in salesforce right some of the data in x or y or z clear so they are using a lot of applications windows linux java sap dot net android flat file right android so when you buy the product so all the data may be available in the android or some other applications right so the company is facing lot of data challenges the data is not available in a single platform or a single place or they are using the company i am talking about a single company called amazon e company they using lot of applications all over the world from where they are able to you know get the sales and when you ask what is the size of the data so size is also one more problem right so they have sometimes a small size data for ex for example in africa they, do, they 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 are not uh, doing good the business is bad so small data maybe in one you know gigabyte per month so in the some other countries the data may be 100 gb 200 gb per week right medium or in some places they may be getting terabytes of data every month clear so the size is also not equal everywhere some countries the sales is very good like india and america where the population is more and people are buying more and more more and more the size is more when you go in for you know countries like sri lanka or some other small countries where the amazon is not picked up very very well probably the sales is very very less like africa or some middle east countries where the sales is not so good right so small size data medium size data large size data when you have a large size data you need to have different different environments different different uh, network setup different uh, different different you know uh, you know uh, hardware lot of things you need to you know uh, have it so that is, size is also one more problem so when we talking about the data because if you don't you know uh, Uh, understand all of them then data analytics cannot be done so data analytics means get the data process the data and see how the business is going on to get the data the data is not available in a single place single environment single size of the data then data accuracy data accuracy accuracy means what accuracy means integrity correctness cleaned data i am talking about cleaned data so do we have the cleaned data sometimes we may have less accuracy data low accuracy data sometimes we may have medium accuracy data sometimes we have high accuracy data right you go to the shop you get the vegetables now can you tell me whether all vegetables are cleaned sometimes uh, it is not so cleaned you have to get the vegetables and clean the vegetables boil the vegetables cut the vegetables and you store it or you cook it right so it is not guaranteed that all the vegetables are cleaned so you have to go to the shop we are going to be getting the cleaned vegetables but after one day two day what happens out of that some vegetables you know again you have to throw them out within one day or two days again it will get spoiled right so you are not guaranteed that whatever be the data that amazon has it is a cleaned data why because data entry is going to be done by different different people right so when the people are doing data entry for example i went to one uh, clinic the other day so what they were doing uh, sometimes when they don't use the application they are uh, giving invoice or bills manually when the power comes or when the application is up they forgot to mention these you know uh, uh, invoices offline invoices into the online system or they were having same invoices offline and online with the same amount but the different bill invoice numbers or sometimes what happens you will have the same customer but half of them will be written in the book 
and half of them will be written in the online portals so what happens so normally front office or accounts guys they will forget they are also normal normal human beings everybody you know will have a choice to do the mistakes right so when there is a human being definitely you will tend to do the mistake so when the data is entered incorrectly you have half of the data is entered wrongly or at least 20 10 20% of the data you have duplicate invoices you have half of the data will get entered in the manually half of the data in, in available in the online so lot of places where you don't have the proper address for don't have the proper phone numbers and phone numbers are in india 10 digits number mobile number but there is a nine digit number pin codes are incorrect and address is incorrect hyderabad wrong spelling right spelling so lot of issues with the data so what happens now when the data is not so cleaned if the data is not so cleaned if you try to use the same vegetable if the vegetables uh, vegetables are not so properly cleaned what will happen so when you prepare the food you will get a bad taste bad quality output right so whatever goes in is wrong comes out will be wrong and take other so when you think wrong you behave wrong when you think positive you will become a positive right so when you whatever goes in is wrong comes out will be wrong miru tappulu tho data isthe you will be able to perform a wrong data analytics data visualization lo tappu untundi because raw material itself is a data but the data itself is the wrong data you are supplying to the power bi application or tableau application or any bi tool when you supply wrong data when you give bad chicken what will happen automatically your food will be spoiled if you give bad water your food will be spoiled right so what is important before cooking cooking means processing so you have to get the vegetables clean the vegetables cut filter and get the good vegetables then you start you know preparing the dish start processing then your dish will be very very tasty it is the same thing for data as well so get the data from different different places and combine the data clean the data then do the data analytics by you know applying some processing techniques am i clear so data cleaning is very very important data accuracy is very very important if the vegetables are not so cleaned so you have to hire more people for the cleaning if the vegetables are cleaned you need to hire less people for cleaning the vegetables right so it depends upon the budget if the company is providing uh low low accuracy data and at the moment a lot of dirty data lot of bad data <clears throat> when you have a bad data i have to recruit more and more developers to clean the data first forget about data analytics or data science we have to clean the data first so how how are, how are you cleaning the going to clean the data manually it is impossible you have to you have to use a software to clean the data who is going to be cleaning the software who is going to be using uh, which softwares are going to be using either you can use sql or etl or power bi so all these can be used to clean your data clear so developers have to write the code so this is very very important like that you have a lot of challenges to perform data analytics it is not so easy the amazon will say hey baskar come you analyze my data baskar goes and uh, sits in amazon office then amazon ceo tells me hey baskar i don't have all the data in a single premises now you go to dubai you go to sri lanka you go to south africa you go to middle east you go there you go there you get the data is it very easy go there and get the data it's not so easy right and he says that i don't have a single platform i am using different different applications if you go to in india this is a java application <clears throat> right for example when you go to india this is a java application when you go to uh, let us say dubai maybe linux application sap application it is impossible to get the data from in a single application because all these applications are being used in the, a single company called amazon company we are not talking about many companies data we are talking about single company data so small size medium size you know uh, in in some places for example in in middle east the data is very very bad 
in india maybe the data is very accuracy data or maybe in india sales is good the way the data is stored is completely wrong inaccurate or less you know accuracy so all these things are important now so what i have to do i have to use one application to integrate the data so what i should do now i go i have got their requirements now what i should do they have their data in different different platforms right that's what i told you so all this data so maybe some of the data in sap uh, it may be in india some of the data of amazon.com uh, in a dot net maybe this is in us right uh, and some of the data may be in excel sheets maybe in dubai right and some of the data may be in some java application uh, maybe in uh, uk right so all this data belong to amazon.com so what you have to do you have to extract the data get the data from here 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 so this is the data this data belongs to a single company called amazon company so we are talking about one company's data only we are not talking about multiple companies data we are talking about single company data so this company data this company is called which company it is called amazon company the amazon company is having data in multiple places what you do you have to bring all the data with the help of an application called etl app application okay so there is application called ssis so ssis is a etl application etl means extract the data then transform the data and load the data artham avutunda extract the data transform the data and load the data transform ante roopantaram chandatam you change the you know data so convert or change that is the meaning change or you convert depends upon your requirements clear so transform ante artham enti nanna roopanni marcheyatam extract the data transform the data transformation means what apply some changes to the data or convert the data and load the data so what do you mean by that for example i have some data like this uh employee us data I have it employee id employee name employee gender right and employee date of birth right so employee name john and gender male date of birth they write mmdd by way for my december 21 or 24th and uh, employee born is 99 so to mary female and october born and 17 and 1989 like that i have employee us data now let me take some data of employee amazon company so uh, amazon india amazon india so the data let us say amazon uh, let us say bhaskar and the column name itself is not you know is gender is male that is the question is male true and in india we are going to be having my date of birth may be you know 18 uh, june and i am 1994 born you think think like this or so it is the format is not mmdd yy it is a dd mmy format now it is amazon us data amazon india data now let me say salman is also working in amazon india so are you male true is male true and the data birth is 10th uh, and the month is uh, let us say uh, april and 1991 so i have to get this data get this data combine and create one employee table so what i do i get this i want to have this data so i will be able to get and store the data no there is no problem i'm combining this data plus this data this 
uh, employee number may be something else because they don't give the same number, right? So the employee number in India starts with one two, and in in a in US it starts with one two. In India one zero one. So let me uh, go and copy and paste the data. When I combine the data, some of them male and female. In some places, a true true, and some of them it is in a DD uh, MM DD YYY format in some places. So you cannot combine the data as it is. You have to convert something. Since it is a Amazon is a America company, they wanted to have all the data in the MMDD YY format. So this need to be changed. So the first month has to come, then you have to keep like this. So this is the one you have to bring it and you have to modify like this. And wherever there is a mail and instead of a T, you have to make it to mail. So this is also is mail, yeah. You have to make it like this. So you have converted so M uh, DDMM this data into this data, and all the true have been converted into mails like that. To create a standard data, you have to change something. Not all the data. You have to change some of the columns based on the client requirements. Clear. So now what I have done, I have to use integration. Integration means combining. Integration integration means joining, combining, put together, calipi chitam. So SQL Server integration services, which is going to be used, okay, to combine the data. From where I got the data, some of the data I got it from one file, and some of the data I'm getting from one more file. So this data may be coming from a file called, uh, let me uh, use a flat file, notepad. Some of the data I'm able to get in a file. Let me store the file. This file will be employee.us. And sometimes we'll be able to receive this kind of a files, right? So, and this data you will be able to get in one more file. So, one more file. So this file is called as a notepad or it is also called as a flat file. So this data is one more file data I'm able to get. And this is, let us say, EMP underscore India. Clear? So now I will get different, different files, but end of the day, get the data and combine the data and integrate the data. Integration and Ardhamilana, Kalapatam, Marju Chayitam, Kalipi Vanchitam. Clear? You're going to be getting the data from SAP, .NET, Excel, Java, but all the data of an Amazon company, you can easily combine the data because same data will be there. We are not combining Apollo Hospital data with Amazon data. We are only combining Amazon data with Amazon data. So everywhere, the same data, there is no problem at all. Have you, have you understood? What is a transformation means? A transformation means change. However, you wanted to have the data in the same way you can, you can maintain, you can have, and you are going to be loading all the data to which uh, place initially all the data will be loaded to a place called staging server. Which server? Staging server. Staging means a temporary. It is a temporary server. What is the server? This is again a SQL or RDBMS server. Clear? So all the data initially will be loaded here. And after you loading the data, what you do? You're going to be performing data cleansing activities. You get the data. You keep all the data. And after loading the data into where? Data into the staging server, you go and cl start cleaning. What kind of a cleaning you do? You do a lot of cleaning. You may remove duplicates. You may correct misspelled data. Okay. Or you may uh, fill the blank values. Fill in the blanks or you convert uh, MMDD, YY to blah, 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 convert, you change or you remove whatever you wanted to do it. All these are called, all these are called over cleaning. I'll give you one simple example. You go to the supermarket, you go to the shop in the morning to buy some vegetables. You carry a bag. 
what is the bag now bag is a temporary so you go to shop number one this is one shop you go to one shop buy some vegetables so the staging is a bag so you keep the vegetables here you go to the second shop get some vegetables from the second shop keep it in your bag go to the third shop get some vegetables put it in the bag go to next shop buy some vegetables put it here so the bag is a temporary to carry the vegetables only temporary clear now after coming home what you do you have to take all the vegetables now you start cleaning this is not good remove it this is half good half bad cut half of the one you peel it you boil it you cut it you pay a lot of things you do it so that is what is called cleaning clear so temporary is the bag where you're go going to be combining all the vegetables in the bag bag is not a permanent one it is a temporary to bring the vegetables to your home so staging means a temporary so bag is always a plastic bag a, a cloth bag or some bag you are going to be carrying this server is completely sql rdbms server so what normally we do we create a lot of tables right lot of tables all the data end of the day we is going to be stored in the table because sql data will be stored in the table structure only you will understand very soon what is sql server what is sql what is rdbms don't worry about it so you will be able to create a lot of tables and get the data from here and you should be able to put all the data from here all the data from here all the data from where will be going and will be getting occupied in the tables after that what you do you're going to be cleaning <clears throat> then clean the data what you do <clears throat> you take all the cleaned data so it is going to go to again after cleaning what we do we use again what is called as a one more ssis software we are going to be using one more ssis software again to get the data from this place and the final data the final data will be loaded to where final vegetables will be loaded where in the refrigerator right all the vegetables you get it and you clean it and you wash it now clean the vegetables are stored where in the refrigerator so all the vegetables all the data i am going to be storing or putting into one more server the server is called as a data warehouse server clear so data warehouse means it is a it is a, a cleaned and very very big server right very very big server because you have to accommodate at least you know at, uh, 5 kg of vegetables right so you have to have a big refrigerator so data warehouse is also one more bigger server which software will be running in this also sql or rdbms software will be running so data warehouse is going to be storing the data if you store the vegetables in the refrigerator is it uh, done you have to get the data you have to get the vegetable and process and create a pizza biryani lot of items you need to create so if you get the data store them in a data warehouse it is only cleaned data it is only cleaned data i have it so after that i have to somebody has to come some application has to get the data clear so we have to go to where we have to go to a data warehouse so what is this, this is a store room or a refrigerator what is it contains it contains a lot of data you have vegetables you have sauces you have a lot of you know yogurt a lot of items are available in the refrigerator so you will have to use one more application one more application is going to come that guy is going to be processing so so you take the vegetable who's going to be taking these vegetables your mother or your chef right he is going to be going to the vegetables so where the vegetables are available refrigerator so your mother is going to go to the refrigerator bring all the vegetables and she will be
she will be processing she has to make the food right if you wanted to make the food get the vegetable cut it boil it and marinate it and you add the sugar add the this one add that one and so okay do that lot of processing has to happen only vegetables you cannot eat somebody has to process the vegetables to prepare a proper food right so the proper food uh, the processing will be done by one more application this application is called as ssas so which is going to be processing your vegetables or processing your data clear so everything is processed everything is ready now i have to eat i have to eat so before eat we have to do the garnishing and get the plate get the garnishing neatly you organize so that it looks good right so you wanted to display the processed data neatly so that is where we are going to be using what is called a reporting so reporting means display the data in a plate or in a report clear so this is where we have ssrs or power bi or we have a software called tableau right lot of reporting software is available so whatever the you have processed that has to be shown in the clean plate so that is when the end user is going to be eating the food right so all the data is going to be coming here and we create a beautiful charts we create what is called as a beautiful chart so this is what is called ssrs or a power bi where you get the data and create a beautiful charts so let me show you i wanted to display like this a a chart i wanted to create like this clear to create this kind of a chart get the data clean the data store the data process the data then in the a report in ssrs report or a power bi report or a tableau is also one more reporting tool or the number one reporting tool is also excel 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 is also number one reporting tool you can also use excel clear any one reporting tool you can have the data display the data who's going to be seeing the data end of the day all this data will go to the decision maker of the company so decision maker means who is the decision maker decision maker is a ceo cfo or manager or the officer in the company all these guys are called mba guys all these guys are not technical guys all the sales manager regional level sales manager brand manager officer ceo cfo board of director all these guys are decision makers to improve the business they see the report of this and they'll say why the sales is you know coming less why they, there is a negative impact on the business why it is doing good why it is doing bad so they will take the decisions based on your report clear so what is your role you get the data you clean the data you put the data into the bigger storage what is the storage now data warehouse and you process the data with the help of ssas application and after that you display the data in the plate so that is where the end user is going to be eating the food right so the ssrs is where you are going to be displaying the reports clear so that is when the end user can see your reports and they will analyze the data i'll give you a simple example so that you will understand in the better way we are called a bi developer we are called as a data engineering team data engineering means what so data engineering means what data engineering means let me close all these things what do you mean by data engineering <clears throat> so data engineering means or data engineering means bi people or you can also say report people or it is also okay etl developers so what they do they collect the data they collect the data clean the data store the data then process the data process and they display the data that is what we do clear we get the data we clean the data we store the data then we process the data then we display the data so display can be done in the form of reporting processing will be taken care by a chef 
called as SSAs and storing means store room or you can say refrigerators. Cleaning means you clean the data, filter the data. Cleaning will be done by the a dumping yard and collect the data from different different places. I'll go. I'll show you one more example. You go to the hospital and you're talking to the doctor. Doctor, I'm not well. Sir, doctor, I'm getting fever regularly. That is what you say. Then doctor will tell you, you go for the medical test. He will write some medical test. Then you go to the laboratory in the you know, hospital. There is a lab technician will be there. Lab technician is going to collect your blood. Then what he does, he is going to be cleaning. So he will take the blood and do a lot of cleaning work and he stores all the blood in the refrigerators. After that, he is going to be processing. Processing. Then after that, he will create a report. Collect the blood. Clean and store the blood. Process the blood and create a report. Who is doing this? A lab technician. So the report will not be analyzed by the lab technician. It will be given to the decision maker. Who is the decision maker? A doctor. Clear? So a lab technician is replaced by you. You are a lab technician. Collect the data. Clean the data. Store the data. Process the data. Create a report. That report you are giving it to a doctor or you are giving it to your decision maker. You are not going to be analyzing the why the patient is having uh, uh, fever. That is not a lab technician job. Lab technician is to create a report. That's it. So your responsibility to create a report only. We are not why the patient is uh, getting a ma malaria fever or you know. Uh, or some other fever. It is not your responsibility. Why the sales is low? Why the sales is more? We are not going to analyze because you are called as a data engineering. You are a data engineer or your BI engineer, your report engineer or your ETL developer, ETL developer or engineer. So these are the uh, uh, rules or you can say you are a data analyst. You are a data analyst or your designation will, will, will be Analyst. Analyst means a software engineer according to the IT industry. You will have different meaning in the non-IT, but in the IT industry, you could be an analyst, you could be a data analyst, or you could be ETL developer, report developer, or you're a data engineer, or simply you're a software engineer. So you are not going to be, you are not going to be analyzing the data you are only creating a report and give the report to the doctor so doctor may see the reports in the phone or a doctor may see the reports in the a printed format or doctor may see the reports in the online so different ways in which you will be able to display the data am i clear so your role will be a lab technician role collect the data clean the data store the data and create lot of reports now, <clears throat> two things we need to understand here. What is called OLTP? What is called OLAP? OLAP means data warehousing. So let me tell you what is OLTP, what is OLAP. I'll take 10 more minutes and we will end the today's class. And this is the final demo, guys. And if you're not able to get all these demos, you write me a mail. I will be able to send a day one, day two. And today is the final demo. All the videos you will be able to get it. You have to fill the form. So this form also already we sent it in the chat window and the people have joined uh, today. First time means you have to fill the form compulsorily. Otherwise, you don't get any communication from us. And uh, if you're not able to receive any communication, check whether uh, our mails are in the spam. So check your spam. If it is still not there, you can write a mail to me. Go online.bhaskar.gmail.com. Daily recorded videos are going to be posted in next one hour of time. If you don't receive by 12 o'clock today, you write a mail by checking spam first, right? And you have to fill the form only once. If you filled it up already, you just ignore it. If not, you have to fill the form. If you if you're not able to get the form, I'm able to give the form once again, guys. And all these videos are also uploading in, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, our channels and we will give the paths and everything guys. And definitely, definitely 
you will enjoy from tomorrow this meeting id will change this meeting id will not work and from auto from tomorrow we are going to be starting the regular classes it will be monday to friday classes only saturday sunday we don't have any classes and from tomorrow 8 to 9 strictly we'll have the timings and uh, tomorrow we'll do how to do the insulation and everything software insulations and uh, today i will just take what is oltp and what is olap and we'll continue oltp means online transaction processing transaction ante telugu lo enti transaction means in telugu lavadevi lavadevi ni transaction antar online transaction processing clear so what do you mean by transaction in telugu it is a lavadevi i don't know in hindi and different languages so it is online analytical analytical processing so what do you mean by oltp online transaction processing so transaction means what transaction means lavadevi so transaction means in simple words whenever you do anything it is a transaction for example i go to the bank deposit the cash it is a transaction i go to the bank withdraw cash transaction i book a movie ticket it is a transaction i cancel a movie ticket it is a transaction i enquire a course it is a transaction i book a hotel room transaction i cancel a hotel room transaction i call a, my i call my friend i talk to him trans it is a transaction so whatever you do the data will be captured in the server that you have to know right so for example i want to buy a mobile phone so i open my computer this is my computer so i wanted to open in my computer www.amazon.com so i am in india it will be connecting to one server so i i go here what i do i open a amazon uh, portal let me double click on this i wanted to buy a product i go to amazon.in i wanted to buy this you know product fresh vegetables i would like to buy it now i want to or buy this ice cream or this this whatever i would like to buy it now it is asking me to sign in after signing in i can just make the payment right so when i make the payment so whatever i am using i am using a oltp application okay so that application may be developed in java or maybe dotnet or maybe android application so this is the client who is the client now and this is the client <clears throat> this is the client and i am connecting to this server what is the server all these are servers only all these are servers only what kind of a servers all these these are oltp servers oltp means what whenever i do any transaction what i am doing i am trying to buy something i trying to cancel something i trying to do something so when i am buying something what will happen some data is going to come here so this is the application this is a java application which application will take the data from where from the client machine so i enter the data i click on something so all the data will go to where go to the sap server because i am in india i will be connected to this server i don't know that right i don't know that so some data is going to come here like that many guys are buying and buying buying and buying so every day you will get thousands of transactions you will get what thousands of transactions so oltp means what in simple terms wherever there is a fresh data and which is a small amount of data will be there in the server and purely read and write data so 80% of the time we are going to be giving the data to the oltp applications ardham avutunda so you assume like this every day you are opening and you are giving you are opening and you are giving some day this server will be full some day this server will be full why because daily you people are buying and buying buying and buying buying and buying one day after 3 months or after 6 months or after 1 year one day 
the server will be full clear what is oltp oltp means wherever you store fresh data wherever you store fresh data the server is called as oltp server ardhamavutunda so for example i i i make a phone call today or i buy, i book a movie ticket today so what is that server some server i, I have to connect that may be sap server java server dot net android doesn't matter i am doing a fresh transaction fresh lavadeva anamata i am buying to i am planning to buy something today i bought it so the fresh transaction wherever you have a fresh data that server is called as a oltp server remember this oltp means fresh remember oltp means what fresh data clear but now one day the server will be full right when the server is full what should i do i take all the data from this server and dump into one more server i take all the data from here like that this server is also full one day this server is also full one day this is also full one day i take all the data from here i am planning to put into one more server that server is called as a data warehousing server this is a bigger server okay so if you understand carefully if you understand carefully in oltp we give the fresh data but once when the server is busy what should i do i take all the fresh data once in a week once in a month all the data i am dumping into where in the data warehousing which is going to be storing historical data ardham avutunde large amount of data so every month you assume every month you are getting 500 gb of data every month so every month the server is full so what you do you take 500 gb of data every month so 500 gb into 12 month data it will become 6 terabytes of data clear so now in this we are going to be storing terabytes of data so in this we are going to be storing what is called as a gb of data these servers are small in size these servers are small in size and these servers are big in size these can accommodate historical data every month data historical data it will come large amount of data will be there read and write data but this data is old data purely read only data purely what kind of a data read only data so these are the important points that you have to think now let me give you one simple example so that you will understand in the better way <clears throat> you don't have a water supply to your home what you do morning six o'clock the government of india supplying water to you so how a water tanker will come or a water will come in the pipeline in the road so there is a street the, the pipelines are available in the street morning six o'clock you have to go and collect the water how do you go you take a bucket and go you your mother your father everybody will go your maid so all the people will go and water tanker comes at morning six o'clock to your street and they're supplying the water who's supplying government of india now what you do you carry a bucket and the bucket is this why this bucket i'm calling because this is a fresh water so whenever you get the water into the bucket the bucket is called as a oltp bucket so this is your bucket this is your mom's bucket this is your sister's you know a silver bucket it may be plastic bucket this may be a gold bucket any any some bucket so what is it all these are going to get fresh data fresh water when the bucket is full what you do you have a drum or the tank at home me intlo drum untundi tank untundi kada so you take manually this water you are going to be filling your drum so go to the home so there is a drum so all the buckets of water you are going to be putting it here again after some time it will become blank right so nothing will be there empty bucket again you come back so the buckets are empty again go to the street switch on the tap and collect the water what is the size of the bucket 30 liter capacity 
what is the you know size of the data warehouse or the drum size 1000 or 5000 liters of capacity so so you are getting four uh, you know five times five times every time you are bringing the water and dumping the water here manually okay now what will happen so what will happen one day you friend told are bhaskar why are you lifting the water like that can't you buy a motor pump what my friend told me are bhaskar why are you wasting your time and energy don't take the water manually and pour it can't you buy a motor pump can i buy a motor pump or not so the motor pump is this this is what is called a motor pump i give a connection to this i give a, i give a connection to this give a connection to this this is source i give a connection to this tank i switch on the motor pump what will happen all the water from the source from the well or the from the bucket all the water is going to go to the tank all the water is going to go to the tank but one day my mother told me hey bhaskar don't do like that the water is not so clean you have to clean the water and then dump into tank that is what my mother told me because this water i'm getting not so clean i'm directly putting here my mother told not to do like that my mother is saying to clean the water so what i do i buy one more drum the one more drum is this <clears throat> i get all the bad water so this is the bad water i cannot say i i, I don't need this water i need the water but it is a uh, uncleaned data so this data initially i'm dumping into one more drum one more tank this is one more tank one more drum where i clean again with the cleaned data i i take one more a pump motor pump so this pump is going to be connected to this and connected to this this pump is connected to this connected to this i click on this i'll get that bad water i put it here i clean the water cleaned water so we'll go to the data warehousing uncleaned water i'll throw that out so this is uncleaned data so bad data will come out so bad data will come out cleaned data only will go to the data warehousing clear so that is what is very very important so what is the staging staging is also one more server clear it is one more drum what is ssis ssis is a motor pump ardham avutunda so get the data put the data into one more drum you clean it and after cleaning it cleaned water you can take it into data warehousing so then you are going to be processing the water eating fooding drinking and do whatever you would like to do it so data warehouse is going to be getting the cleaned data i'll give you a simple example how my city is going to be getting water different rivers are available one is called godavari so you assume this is one river godavari this is manjira this is you, you can say x or y or z so what government of india is going to do they will have a lot of motor pumps kaleshwaram lot of other motor pumps are you know setting up they get the first water from this and they'll be putting all the water into bigger bigger reservoir that is staging server staging tanks where they clean all the water they clean all the water cleaned water again will go to bigger bigger tanks in you know high cities and with the bigger bigger motor pumps clear so this water will get supplied to the citizens of india clear so etl means data importing exporting software simply these are called as motor pump clear so you can buy lot of motor pumps right when you go to motor pumps you will get a lot of companies motor pumps right when you go so all these are motor pumps what motor pump is going to be taking it is a taking the water from one place to another place what ssis is going to do it is going to be taking a data from one place to another place so you can understand that the different motor pumps are available if you understand carefully this is from crompton company this is from samir motor company this is from jindal motor company like that one is ssis this is 
from Microsoft. Then one more from IBM company. What is that uh, software called as data stage? One more ETL software we have very, very popular data stage. This is from one more company. One more uh, ETL software is called as Informatica. There are lot of ETL tools are available. SSIS, Data Stage, Informatica, lot of motor pumps are available. You can buy any one motor pump. You can buy any one motor pump to load the data. So SSIS is a, a motor pump. Do you know you have also one motor pump in your body? Who is pumping your blood? Your heart. Your heart is a ETL. Extracting that blood, transforming the blood, and loading the blood. Okay, your heart is your ETL. Where, which part of your body is cleaning your blood? Is a kidney. Kidney is a staging area where the blood is getting cleaned. At the mouth the. So you have also staging area that is what is called your kidney. Clear? So you have an ETL, a pump in your body. Your ETL is your heart, your gunde. At the mouth the. So that is what you need to understand. You pump the data from one platform to another or one place to another. ETLs are simply data importing, exporting softwares. Clear? So what is OLTP? OLTP means wherever you store the fresh data. That is what is called OLTP. In brief, whenever we use any application, these applications are OLTP applications only. Banking software or IRCT software or loan software or Android software, or in Amazon portal, or in Facebook.com, you give a lot of fresh data. All these softwares are Java, .NET, in any application doesn't matter. Wherever you store the fresh data, all these applications are called as OLTP. But once in a month, once in a day, all the data will be loaded to where? From the OLTP to OLAP. OLAP where you're going to be taking historical data. Clear? So large amount of data, read only data. I will give you some more points you don't understand, but I will discuss later. It is a normalized data. What is a normalized? Don't ask me. I will discuss clearly later. And which is a lot of end users are going to be using this. So you and me are connecting to Amazon.com and buying the product, right? So end users. And this is not used by the end user. So this is not a normalized data. This is a denormalized data. You don't understand now. Don't worry about it. Who's going to be using old data? Is it you? It is not you. It is a business user. Business user and a manager in the company, Amazon company, a CEO of the company wanted to use this application. So OLAP application, we never see, we never use it. Right, so he, here you have less indexes. You don't understand what is the index, so we'll understand later, and we'll have more indexes. What is the index? You don't understand. What is the normalization? You don't understand. But definitely, you can understand remaining these points, right? So these are the six points you have to tell in the interview. We will understand these two points later. Clear. What is OLGP? What is OLAP? OLAP means data warehousing application or business intelligence applications. Clear? So you will get the data from OLTP. You store the data. You wanted to analyze last five years of data. Where is last five years of data? It is there in the data warehouse. Cricket is going on. Current yesterday when IPL is going on, when cricket is going on. Where is the data? The initially the data will get entered into the OLTP after some time the old cricket match data will be there in the data warehousing. So old data means data warehouse, fresh data means where OLTP, remember this. Historical data, complete last 100 years cricket, cricket matches data will be stored in a data warehouse. You know, current match data will be available in the OLTP. So today I bought some movie tickets. The data will be available in OLTP. Last one year, I booked a I book lot of movie tickets. The data is available where? The data will be available in the OLAP servers. Clear? 
OLTP means fresh. OLTP means fresh. So we are going to be using all the OLTP applications only. We never use OLAP or data warehousing. These applications are called as OLAP. So what is OLAP here? So this is what is called OLAP. So this one, data warehousing and SSAs. These two applications put together is OLAP. OLAP is always a bigger servers. OLTP always a smaller servers. Clear? So that is what you got to understand. So <clears throat> remember this point forever. Remember this point forever. OLTP means small in size and the fresh data. OLAP means big in size and you have a large amount of data is going to come there. Clear? So this is the point that you need to understand. This is the OLAP. My thing is not working properly. So this is what is called OLAP server. Okay. Data warehousing plus plus your cubing software, all these are called as OLAP. OLAP means old data, historical data. That is what you need to understand, guys. Okay. Chalo. So <clears throat> now what MSBA, what is the power BI? You understood clearly, right? MSBA means SSIS, SSAS, and SSRS. Power BI is only reporting software, guys. Clear? So if you wanted to work with this, definitely you have to know SSIS, you have to know data warehousing, you have to know SSAS, and you have to know Power BI. So Tableau is also one of the software like Power BI only. It is from the third party, right? So SSIS for the 25 days of time, Data warehousing will be seven days of time. And uh, SSAS will be three days you can learn. And uh, Power BI will be 45 days of time. Clear? But if you wanted to know uh, Power BI, compulsorily you have to know SQL. Without SQL, if you learn any technology, that is useless. Clear? So that is what is the thing. So you have to plan for all these technologies. So initially, you have to plan for only two courses. One is called SQL Server. We don't have no live classes. You have to buy the videos and practice. Now we have 45 days videos are available in English and Telugu. You can buy these videos and practice daily one video. And you need to make the payment for SQL Server and Power BI. Okay, so Power BI is going to come with the DAX and we're also covering a data warehousing concept in this. So live classes from tomorrow will be happening. So this will be for 45 days clear. So this is available in English, but if you don't need English classes, we don't have a Telugu uh, online batch now, but I can give you Telugu Power BI previous batch videos. Path videos Telugu one Abhisthar Mikawal and Kunte. Serena? So this will go morning 8 o'clock from tomorrow and 9 o'clock <coughs> sharply will stop. So this will go two months, April month and uh, May month. Clear? You have to make the payment only these two courses now. And in the month of June, you can plan for, you can plan for what? SSIS classes. So if the live is going to be happening, you can buy the live. If they don't have the live, then you can buy the videos. So not now, you don't need the make, you don't make the payments here. And this will be for 25 days. This is compulsory. This is compulsory. You have to make the payment in the month of June, not now. So pay later. Pay later. So today you have to make the payment and you will get one more course free here. What is that? SSAS. So tabular model, it is not a tableau, remember. So what is this, we'll discuss later. So this is a free course for you will be given. So this will be a three days. You need not make any payment. You have to make the payment for this. Pay for this and you have to pay for this now, okay? And uh, you have to learn them parallelly. If you take one by one, it will take one year. 
because 45 days means almost two months. Okay, so we can easily learn these three things parallelly. Daily you attend one course this and in the evening you watch one video, 45 videos you will be able to get it. So you will be able to get English or Telugu you have to mention so that the same videos will be given. You will have SQL and a TSQL, two folders will be given. So this is where you need to start learning. It is a basic. So this is what is called advanced SQL. So this you can do it later. So SQL server will get you two videos, two types of videos, SQL and TSQL. This is what you need to start learning. Then you need to jump. All the videos will be shared in a, uh, a single day when you make the full payment clear. So the payment links and everything will come guys. And if you have any questions, you can ask me, I will answer it. And so you have to fill in this form. Today is the last day for you to submit the form. If you already done it in the demo one and demo two, ignore it. So otherwise you have to, you know, get it done. Once you make the payment, so you will get a, you know, mail and phone calls from us. And you wait till 12 o'clock. If you, nobody is giving you any response means the mail would have reached a spam folder. You check in the spam, you know, still, if it is not available, you can just mail me go online dot basket, the payment details. I can just give it to you and you need to clearly mention your, you know, month that is April month, eight o'clock batch. And once you make the payment, clearly mention which videos you need Telugu or English videos clearly mention so that the videos are provided. So they can, you can just practice. Tomorrow, the meeting ID will change. This meeting ID will not work. So after making the payment, end of the day today, not immediately. By today, night 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, we will finalize all the payment details. And we will be able to send the, a, a meeting ID for tomorrow's class. And you can join that. Okay. Please make the payment. So our office is going to start by 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, morning, you need not call them, they will call you. You need not call them, they will call you. If you don't get any response from them, either you can just mail me or uh, you can just ping them in the WhatsApp number so that they will be able to tell you all the payments and you will be able to get the discounted amount when you fill in this form, okay? If you don't have, fill, if you did not fill means you are not authorized to get any discounts. Clear, you have to give the complete <coughs> Uh, full payment you need to make it and if you miss this opportunity next batch will be happening in month of may 1st so monthly one batch will be there if you miss this the next batch will be in the month of may only if you miss that again june will have monthly one batch will be there so a lot of job opportunities so it industry is booming in next three years it industry going to rock whether the companies are getting opened or closed doesn't matter. You have much more opportunities, guys. And uh, no coding is required. Anybody can join in this course. BA, BCom, BZC, Botany, Zoology. Ever, everybody can come into this IT industry. We will help you for you to, you know, get into IT industry, guys. Only one thing you need to do it. Daily minimum, two hours of practice, you have to do it. If you do it, then you're ready to crack and get the interview only secret is get the course and get the proper mentoring don't approach brokers you lose the confidence you lose the money sir my brother is there my cousin is there he is telling me to learn everything in one month so when somebody says in one month then you are getting cheated clear if your brother is not able to show you a job i can show you your job i am your brother if your brother is your sister is not able to show the job i am your sister I can show you the job. Clear. If friend is not able to show the job, I'm a friend. So I can definitely show you the job. So getting job is very, very easy. You will get multiple offers, not even one offer. Right? So a lot of people from 2005 back, you know, 2006 passed out. BA, BCom guys, minimum 10 to 12 lakhs of packages. You will be able to get it. And don't, you know, go uh, uh, waste your time and don't go here and there so without knowledge without knowledge if you're approaching brokers means you are you know putting a risk so that is what is called it will become risk if you have more risk there 
clear so nothing will be given the brokers needs money they'll say hey companies are getting opened you don't get online you know interviews online jobs many companies are giving you know work from home facility lifetime lifetime work from home facilities are giving especially for housewives they can opt for it okay and a few companies only asking one by third employees to come come out come to the office not everybody so everybody can come into proper guidance guys proper you know with the proper guidance especially from the rural people they can come into the it industry very very easily i'll give you full support guys especially from rural background people who do not know proper english proper skills i am there to help you till you get a job i am there okay so if you if you wanted to go in for a power bi you can learn anywhere that is not a problem but if you need a job if you need a proper mentoring if you need a proper caring and you don't want to get cheated by other people means definitely we are there we are going to be helping and we are not you know bookish knowledge guys we are completely you know real time guys clear we'll give you proper guidance even though you have 10 years of gap 15 years of gap doesn't matter we will be able to convert your skills into power bi will keep a minimum 3 to 4 years of experience you will be able to get minimum 10 to 15 lakhs of salary package if you already have 15 lakhs of salary package you are eligible for minimum 20 to 25 lakhs of salary packages now people there is a guy whose name is suresh he came uh, in 2014 when i was teaching msba he was working for uh, a call center miyapur hyderabad he was earning 12000 rupees per month he was a team lead in that you know company uh, after that he has learned the first company he got an offer with msb developer vachusa with 6 lakhs of salary package okay within 7 years of time you know what is his package today 32 lakhs of package currently is working for main tree right from 13000 rupees is a 2005 passed out but he came back to he came back my offline classes classroom classes in the year of uh, 2014 clear now that guy is getting 32 lakhs of salary package in hyderabad mind tree right so that is what is the real growth not only this lot of thousands of students you go to any company many people will recommend my name you ask them you ask them you they will be able to easily recommend clear guys so definitely you can get the jobs b clear and uh, from tomorrow we'll continue guys so thank you so much for attending the class doubts i will take it now this is a final demo there are no more demos from tomorrow we are going to be starting the class and meeting id will change from tomorrow guys thank you bye bye